Hello everyone, my name is Wangbi Kai from Nanjing University. Uh, today I'm very happy to present our paper with the title Organization Based Design Exploration of the Mutual Inference between Building Messing and Facade Design. And also on behalf of the other two co authors, Liu Xuehan and Ji Wo Hua. Uh, the background of this study is that uh, in the past few years, I developed a new design to call it Evo Mess for repeat building messing design exploration and organization. And, and using Evomax can allow the designer to do the very quick uh, design organization uh, and to see the, uh, the interaction between the building messing and the building performance and the surrounding uh, uh, environment. And but uh, using Evomax only uh, focus uh, only can uh, automize the building messing. So in the past two years, we also try to include the uh, building facade into the automization. So, uh, however, in order to uh, address the problem uh, of the, the uh, number of parameters to control the facade generation, we use the implicit uh, facade generation approach to generate the building uh, facade pattern. For example, we can use the uh, solar uh, radiation intensity in the surface of the building to control the facade pattern, for example, the size and the density of the shading panel. And the other, uh, another trend of our study uh, is, uh, is focusing on the uh, building form of characteristic because in the real world architecture design, architects usually use different form of characteristics to uh, express their design intent. However, we also uh, noticed that the, the the building uh, form characteristic can also have a great impact on the uh, building performance and their impacts on the surrounding environment. So we also use EVOMAS to generate uh, different sets of the building represent uh, different uh, represent building design with different form of characteristic and put them into the uh, organization process to investigate how different uh, building formal characteristic uh, can affect the building performance. So for this uh, paper, we try to combine our two previous studies. Uh, so on the one hand is the, so on the one hand is the uh, building facade, how the building facade can uh, affect the building uh, messing uh, design and also how the uh, formal characteristic can affect the adaptability of different facade skin on the building messing design export uh, organization process. Uh, in terms of the method, uh, we combine the method we use in our previous study. On the right hand side is the design uh, organization workflow uh, for the uh, for, uh, facade messing integrated generation. So in this part, the building messing is first generated using the evil bus and then uh, the organization algorithm will also choose one of the facade scheme and using the solar radiation as an indicator to generate the uh, facade pattern on the surface of the bu uh, generated building messing and then to combine the facade and the building messing together and to run another round of the evaluation uh, like uh, the daylighting. And on the right hand, uh, left hand side is the, the user can use the uh, use a define parameter in the EVOMAS to define different formal characteristics. So in this paper, we also use three different uh, types of the formal characteristic, which is a solid form, balance, and a fragmented form. So in terms of the two, we use the EVOMAS to generate the building messing. We use Ladybug to do the simulation of the uh, surface solar radiation and use the climate studio to uh, simulate the daylighting, uh, the daylight accessibility. Uh, for the facade generation, we first generate the building messing use the EVOMAS and then we uh, extract the, uh, the solar radiation value of each of the region in the surface of the building and then to turn this value into an indicator which will be used to control the pattern of the facade, uh, facade design. So this indicator will usually control like uh, the size and the density of the shading panel uh, or the window to wall ratio. And after that, uh, the facade will be attached to the building messing surface. So we use a case study to, uh, to 
uh, evaluate our proposed method. So the case study is based on, uh, is for, uh, describe an office building in the Nanjing, China. And the organization objective is try to minimize the solar heating while maximizing the nature daylighting. So we use the uh, user parameter to generate three sets of the building messing uh, use e-commerce. Uh, so for the fermented form, we use nine small uh, mass element. And for the balanced form, we use six middle-sized element. And for the solid form, we use three uh, large mass element to represent uh, the different form of characteristic. And in the facade generation, we also uh, use the facade library we developed in our previous study, which include uh, different generic uh, facade scheme, for example, the vertical or the horizontal shading panel, and also the uh, strip uh, opening, and also the combination of uh, the, the strip uh, window with the uh, horizontal shading panel. So uh, we run three separate organization and get the uh, Pareto form from the free uh, from this organization. We can see that in terms of the, uh, the objective space, we can find that there is a no uh, objective, uh, no Pareto form can uh, clearly surpass the other two Pareto form. It means like uh, it means that the, uh, this design. Uh, can achieve quite similar uh, performance in terms of the uh, daylighting and uh, uh, reduce uh, reducing solar heating. However, we can see that uh, for the fermented form, most of the design is uh, on the upper right uh, part of the objective space, which usually uh, indicate that this uh, design usually have a good spatial, uh, uh, have a good daylighting performance. And for the solid form is on the bottom left uh, side of the objective space, uh, which indicate that this building, uh, this design usually have a, uh, uh, this design is good at reducing uh, the solar heating. Uh, but we can also notice that the balance form can have a longer spread of form, which means that uh, this uh, Formal characteristic, uh, the, the design with this formal characteristic is most uh, flexible one that can be combined with different facade scheme and achieve uh, different trade off between the daylighting and the uh, uh, reduced uh, solar uh, heating. And we take a closer look into the organization result and to see how the uh, facade scheme affect the uh, uh, performance. We can find that most uh, most of the ferment, uh, fermented foam design is integrated with uh, facade scheme four, which is a long window with horizontal shading panel. And for the balance one, uh, the design usually combined with scheme four and scheme two. Scheme two is a vertical uh, strip windows. And uh, for the solid form, we can see that they were combined with uh, Scheme 2 and Scheme 3, uh, but we can also notice that the Scheme 1 is not uh, is not in the objective form. It means like uh, uh, this facade scheme is not suitable for this uh, design uh, test. And we also take a look on the, uh, the formal feature of the generated design. We can find that the, the building uh, design uh, with the uh, fermented foam is usually have a shallow floor pan, which means that they usually have a good uh, daylight accessibility. So, uh, so it is also indicated by the very high uh, value in the SDA. But for the balance and the solid foam, we can find that the design usually have a deep floor pan, uh, which can compromise the daylighting. But also, the deep floor pan usually can achieve a very good uh, cell shading effect. We can find that the solar radiation value is much lower than the one generated uh, produced by the fermented foam, but the daylight uh, accessibility uh, indicated by the SDA is also lower than the uh, than that uh, achieved by the uh, fermented foam design. So to summarize, we can find that the different building massing uh, formal characteristic can affect the viability and the efficacy of different facade scheme. 
uh, in terms of the perform, uh, performance improvement, but also the different facade skin can also reversely affect the formal feature of the building messing with a uh, different formal characteristic. And in terms of the practical utility, we can find that the application of this workflow enable the architect to conduct a systematic design space exploration in regards to the building messing form and the facade pattern and allow them to make a more uh, informed um, design uh, decision. And the lastly is that the, uh, the, the adaptability and the customability of evil mess and the generosity of the facade, uh, facade library can make this uh, workflow uh, reusable for many different uh, building design tests and can also support uh, the designer can uh, use this method in uh, their real world uh, design project. So that's it of our uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any question, uh, feel free to send it to my email. We are very happy to answer them. Thank you very much.